Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. Parker coming back for week two of Virtual Library. I'm so glad you're here. And also I wanted to say a special hey to Claymont. I forgot to say hey to them last week. They were in my mind. I was thinking about them, all these different things I was thinking. But then I forgot to say hi, Claymont. So Claymont is going to be joining us. I have a second grade class at Claymont. And then I have second and third grade at Maple Lane. So Hello all my second graders and third graders at Maple Lane and hello my second graders at Claymont too. All right. So virtual library lesson week two and I'm in my schoolology course and we're in Miss Gray's room. She teaches second grade, but this is also for third graders as well. So click on week two and we're going to go to the library assignment. And so your library assignment this week is we're going to go back to book flicks and we're going to read the book The Dot by Peter Reynolds and it's found under the earth and sky category. It's about a little girl who is not, I don't know, I don't think she's comfortable with her drawings yet. She just can't get her drawings going. So click on book flicks, skip the click intro. Click on a category and or click on the feature to begin. They always interrupt me. All right, so right here is your fictional book, and over here is your non-fictional book. They're paired together, featured pair, but we're not going to read this. We're going to go to Earth and Sky. Earth and Sky. And then we're going to go to the dot and all the colors of the rainbow. And so if you see the ES right here, this means it's also in Spanish. So you can click on the Spanish right here and you can read and listen to the book read in Spanish. And also, I think the colors of the rainbow is Spanish as well. I'm not sure about that. I have to check that out sometime. So click on and then you're going to watch and read the story. It's by Peter Reynolds. Peter Reynolds was on Facebook and Instagram a lot this summer, giving like hour classes to kids. I loved it. I watched it all the time, pretending I was a kid. After you get through with the dot, then all the colors of the rainbow, and there's a special secret about a double rainbow in this book. Hmm. See if you can figure out what they say about a double rainbow. Hmm. I wish I could tell you, but I want you to find out for yourself. All right, and then once you play some games like the word Read match. Read the clue below. Click on the word it matches. Match all the words to uncover a picture. A solid three-sided piece of glass. All right, I think it might be... Prism, ring bell, a prism. Prism. Nice work. Ooh. Something with a curved shape. Hmm, okay, I'll just wait for you to do that one. All right, next. Which Look at these first? three pictures. What happened first? Drag that picture to the yellow box. Next, and then last. All right, so I'm not going to do that for you. You got to do that for yourself, okay? So make sure you play these games. And I think there's also puzzlers, right? Yes. No, it's just word matching, which comes first. All right, and then dive deeper. So explore the web. One of my favorite ones that you can visit on here, you can visit anyone that you like. But I love the Learn English Kids. And this comes out of London. Brit is British, so it has British accent. Like I have a Southern accent. They have a British accent. And I just love to go here and listen to them. For a long time, I couldn't find their website. Now their website's back up. All right. So then I think this is another one that is from Britain as well. Let's see. Oh, isn't that beautiful? All right, let's listen to them. Red and yellow and pink and green. Oh, that's so adorable. Okay, so I'm going to go back out. And so we're still back in Bookflix. So we can Click go back on a home. category. Or click on the feature to begin. And then I'm going to go back over to our lesson for this week. And we're in week two. You won't see week one because by the time you see this, it'll be disappeared. All right. So here we go. All right. So I want you, after you've watched the book and after you read the book about the rainbow and you played those games and maybe you went to some of those websites and had fun, 
I want you to go to discussion question. And discussion question is something you have to do. This is not a choice. You know, the game matching game or the word match and all that. That was a choice. This right here is not a choice. Okay. In the beginning, Vosti did not have enough confidence to draw. Bless her heart. I totally understand that. I guarantee you she loved to draw, but it was just showing her work to someone else. So if she was at home, she probably would have drew all these different pictures in the beginning. But since she was in the classroom, she was scared of somebody looking at it and judging it. That happens a lot with artists. It happens a lot with writers. I know. I really, really know. I get nervous myself. All right. So, however, with the help of her teacher, she discovered that she was a wonderful artist. What picture have you drawn that you're very happy with and proud of yourself? So I have a seven-year-old grandson, and the other day I was looking through his artwork, and there was one I was absolutely amazed by. It, it was the little snail from SpongeBob. You know, SpongeBob has that pet. I cannot think of her name right now, but the pet snail. He had drew and painted like this perfect rendition of her. I was like, Wow! And I told him, I said, this looks so great. And his look on his face was like, oh, it's okay. I said, no, you don't realize how great this is. And I don't think he did. So anyhow, be proud of your work. Be very, very, very proud of your work. It's something you've accomplished. It's something only you could accomplish. Don't ever, ever let anybody tell you that your work is not good. Your work is grand. It's beautiful. And with that, I want you to share it with me. So Tell me about a drawing that you have created that you just absolutely love. And if you want to, you can add a picture. So you have to get your parent to add a picture. So adding the artwork is definitely not part of the assignment, but a chance to share if they like. So how do you do that? All right. So right here. So I'm going to pretend I'm Liam, my grandson. My favorite drawing is a picture of, excuse me, a snail. All right. So then the next thing you would do is go over here to File and click on File. And this is where your grown-up is going to have to help you. Then you can go to your, I know Miss Parker has all this stuff on her computer. Like, oh my Lord, look at that woman's computer. Okay. So then you can go and find you a picture that you've drawn. And look. Oops, I've drawn a picture of a heart. And for some of the kids that know Miss Parker well, know that I love to draw on the computer. So I use Illustrator. I feel like it's, I don't know if it's cheating sometimes because it is, um, let me see how I can say this. I don't draw with a pen or pencil. I draw with shapes and the mouse. So it's really, really cool. I might do that one time. Since I'm at home, I can show that. At school, I don't have that program, so I can't show what I'm doing. All right, so I put my sunflower heart, and then I post it. And so now, the next person go in can see my favorite drawing is a picture of a snail, and then they see a picture of a heart, and it's like, what? That's not a snail. But they'll get very confused. Anyhow, I'm going to go over here and delete that. All right, so now it's been deleted and I can start all over again. But remember, this is definitely a part of your assignment that you have to do. Okay, so click and then you're going to share, file, find a picture that you want to share. Oh, let's share that and then post. And oops, it says write a comment. My favorite one is a cupcake. How do you like my cupcake? Okay, post. And there it is. There's the cupcake. And see? Ooh, now I'm starting to get hungry. All right, so let me exit out. And that's all you have to do. And I'm going to go ahead and delete it so not one class has it and the other classes don't. All right? I got to be fair. So, let me, all right, discussion question. And then right here's your assignment discussion question. And so make sure that you try to get in before next Sunday night at 12 o'clock midnight. Batman channel, Batman time, because maybe I can write back comments to you if you get your comments in early enough. Wouldn't that be awesome? All right. So 
Until next week, I shall see you then. Same bat channel, same bat time. Bye, boys and girls.